All right, guys. Uh, time for another comic review. This is again another comic sent to us by my good, our good friend here, uh, Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, uh, know you're watching. So thank you for this. And today I'm going to be reviewing *The Phantom: Danger in the Forbidden City* by Peter David. Now it's interesting to note that this is not from Dynamite. This is from a group called Herman, Pre Herman Press. Which this comic actually came out. I know the cover looks like very like retro '80s or '90s like, artwork. It's actually this comic is fairly new, like. 2016 new. So this is not a very old comic um, per se, but first and foremost, the artwork in here is fantastic. I love how like how it feels like a classic pulp comic. This really does feel like a classic uh, pulp comic in its own you know in its own right. The artist. Um, uh, Yeah, Sal Valentino. It took me a moment to remember the name. Sorry. The artist Sal Valentino kills it on here. Uh, this is some great artwork. Um, I just love it. Uh, the story is, though, let's get into the story. The story centers around uh, the Phantom and his wife uh, taking on some pirates along with the sign, a, a man, a, yeah, taking on some pirates alongside a man named Wells and his wife, who's a former rogue of the Phantom, the Baroness. Um, to stop them from entering a golden city of Opir, but along the way, shit happens. Now, like I said, the artwork is good, and Peter David, uh, we all know that Mr. David can tell us quite the story, but I feel like he wasn't trying to tell a story about the Phantom. I don't think he was trying to tell us a story about the Phantom, but more like the other man named Wells, who is this uh, man who can talk to animals, has superhuman strength and durability, it feels, if anything, this should have been that should have been that character story, and the Phantom is just kind of on the uh, is just along for the ride. Even though the Singh Brotherhood, who are the main enemies of the Phantom, are the villains, it really does feel like this is the other guy's story more than the Phantom. Like there are points where I was like, "Yeah, you're clearly wanting to do a character, uh, you know, a story based around this character." So why not do that, Mr. David? If it's a story about the Phantom, uh, then don't use the Phantom at all. That's that's all I'm saying. So that's that was my kind of pet peeve. And also some of the uh, some of the dialogue in here does. I know he's. Uh, I know Peter David is known for doing like a uh, you know dialogue that is very you know modern. But it doesn't feel like dialogue that is set for the times. This is obvious. Uh, obviously, as you guys know, the Phantom is a character from you know the pulp era. So there's no feel like there's there's no real feel for like pulp dialogue, and every character just at some points feel, you know, they just feel like they're out of their time. Like if this was a modern take on the Phantom, I'd be a little more forgiving. But as it stands, that's not the case here. That is not in any way, shape, or form the case in this story. Uh, the action is good. There's actually some nice there's some nice dark humor here and there. I especially love, um, I especially love, like, the romance between Kit Walker and his wife, um, which they don't, uh, they don't harp on too much, but they make it enough to make you care about that relationship. Uh, the city of Opir, it's clearly supposed to be a reference to Opar, which is a, go the, uh, lost city in Africa in the Tarzan continuity, which makes me wonder, why hasn't there ever been a Tarzan phantom crossover? Like, seriously, it makes sense, you know... The Phantom lives in the jungle, um, he lives in the jungle, is a friend to all animals, has his own set of adventures in those kind of jungles. Why hasn't there ever been a Tarzan Phantom crossover? Seriously! I would read the shit out of Tarzan meets the- uh, Tarzan and the Phantom teaming up. Yeah, I can't be the only one who, like, stopped and thought and, like, yeah, why isn't that a thing? Like, I- I'm not crazy, am I, guys? Right? I'm not, like, total fucking crazy. It's, it's, yeah, I'm, I can't be the only one thinking that, right? Like, why hasn't that ever been done? Or maybe, maybe it has, and I've just never seen it. Like, that could be the other thing, is that, um, maybe it's out there, and I've just never seen this crossover before. Like, it's out there, and I've just never read it. That could be the case. Um, but as it stands, no, I have not seen a single... Uh, version of that, and if there isn't, why hasn't, because I think uh, Phantom's back to Dynamite, if I'm not mistaken, so 
yeah, I'm kind of wondering why isn't, you know, why hasn't this been a thing, but I'm harping on it too long. I'm harping on that too long. I'm sorry. But the thing is that there isn't really much to talk about in here, except the artwork is good, but everything else in this story just kind of feels like it, it's trying to go from point A to point B, and it's just, like, it's just trudging along. Like, it doesn't, like, it just wants this story to go, okay, here we are, point A, point B, and all that. And there are some nice action set pieces, but you don't get the, I, I feel like you just don't get the full scope. I don't know if Peter David didn't want to do this project, but it feels like he just kind of half-assed it at some points. Um, so yeah, I know I'm shitting on this comic, but if you are a fan of, like, classic uh, pulp stories, and I am too, I'm just like, this didn't wow me as I was hoping, because, you know, Peter David, uh, pulp, era st uh, pulp Era Adventures, it all has the makings of it, but really, when I was reading this comic, I just felt like, this feels like a backdoor pilot for the supporting character in here, so, and also, the dialogue just feels really off from the time period, but aside from that, the artwork is beautiful, it does, you know, set out to do what it, what it, what it, like, it promises what it delivers, fun action here and there, but at the same time, like, it just feels like this is, uh, this is not something I would point to for Peter David's strongest work, is all I'm saying. And as, you know, as much as I love Peter David's writing, you know, I wouldn't point to this as, a, as the strongest uh, form of it. So I hate to give this a bad rating, but I'm, if you're a fan of the fan, of a, like a diehard fan, a fan of the Phantom, then by all means, check this out. But uh, if you're like looking to get into the Phantom, I would not recommend this. Just part me personally. So there you go, guys. That is my review of the Phantom Danger in the Forbidden City. You guys uh, comment below. Let us know if you've read that comic. And Chris, thank you for the uh, uh, donation to the to the channel. And uh, once again, we will see you right here in the universe.